Okay, moving on to the third example, we have to find the probability that z is greater than some kind of z-score is equal to 0 0.0174. So we're looking for that z-score. So notice here that this switch from less than to now greater than. And so now this probability that we are given, that's going to be a right-tailed probability. So if we draw this out, if we have 0 in the middle, notice that this probability is less than 0.5. And because we're looking for a right-tailed probability, that means that this A value, it's going to be positive. It's going to be here because the probability to the right of it is 0 0.0174. It's less than 0 0.5. If it was greater than 0 0.5, then the A value would be negative and we'd be looking at a larger area. But we're just looking for this here. We're looking for this A value given that this area is 0 0.0174. Right? So we know the A value, the Z score we're looking for, it's going to be positive, which is nice because we have to use a positive Z score table. The problem is, is that this Z score table, again, it gives us all the probabilities to the left. It gives us the left tail probabilities, not the right tail probabilities. So what we got to do is we have to find this left tailed probability in order to use the table. And the way we do that, is we do 1 minus, this is going to equal 1 minus 0 0.0174, right? Because the total area is 1, and if we subtract this, then we would end up with the blue portion. When you do that, 1 minus 0 0.0174, you end up getting 0.9826. So that's the corresponding left tail probability. And now we could use a table. We could just look up this 0.9826. Where is that in the table? Well, if we look it up, it's right there, 0.9826. So the corresponding z-score is 2.11, right? This 2.1 here, and then the second decimal place is 1 as well. That's where they're meeting at that 0.9826. So we know that this z-score here is uh, 2.11. Right, so not too much uh, rearranging. We just had to find the corresponding left uh, tail probability given this right tail probability in order to use the table. Now, if we were to use the calculator, a lot easier. Same inputs, and then we get to the screen. We got a variable. Now, what's going to be different is this tail here. It's not going to be left anymore. We're given a right tailed probability. This 0.0174 is the right tailed probability. So this would have to be right. Uh, this would be 0 0.0174, we got 1, 0, when you execute that, you should get 2.11, that's the answer to this question, that is the z-score. So it would say like x inverse equals 2.11, there might be some more decimals here, but the first uh, two decimal places should be 0 0.11, 2.11. Right, so whether you're using the table or using the calculator, you should be getting that same solution. Okay. And then the final example, the fourth example, we have to find the z-score where the probability that z is greater than that z-score is equal to 0.591. So notice we're, again, given a right-tailed probability, but notice that this probability that we are given, it's greater than 0 0.5. And if you remember the four cases that I outlined at the beginning, if you're working with a right-tailed probability that's greater than 0 0.5, then you know that the z-score you're going to be working with is negative. It's going to be a negative a value. So this answer is going to be a negative value because this here, the right-tailed probability, so the probability to the right of that a value is 0 0.5910. It's greater than 0 0.5, so the z-score you're looking for is going to be to the left of 0. So, question is, how do we use the z-table to find this z-score? Because notice this z-score we're going to be looking for is going to be negative. Well, using symmetry, what can we do? If we have a negative a value, let's draw the corresponding positive a value, and notice that 
the probability to the left or uh, to the right of this negative a value is going to be the same as the probability to the left of this positive a value. All right, one more time. This area here, if this is negative a and then this is positive a, so they're the same numbers, just one's negative, the other's positive, perfectly symmetrical. This area to the right of this negative a value is going to be the same as this area to the left of this positive a value. Okay, so this area here is 0 0.5910 as well. And now notice that we have the corresponding positive z score, the corresponding positive a value. So if we could find this, we could just change it to a negative and get that, what we were originally looking for. And notice that we could get that pretty easily now because we're looking for a positive z-score and we are given the um, left tail probability, the probability to the left of it, which is what the table gives you. So if we look up 0.591 in the table, 0.591 is right there, right? So the corresponding z-score is 0.23. So this here is 0.23. Three, but remember we're looking for this. So the corresponding negative a value is negative zero point two three, and so that's the answer to this. A value is negative zero point two three. Right. So that's how you use the table for this sort of scenario. You got to redraw it. Right. This right tail probability redraws the left tail probability. And then you are just looking for that positive z-score and then just switch it to a negative. And if you use the calculator, same inputs when you get to this screen, the data variable. The tail is going to be a right tail probability, right? The area we're given is 0.5910. Standard deviation one, mean is zero. When you execute that, you should get this value, negative 0.23. So that's giving you this over here. The uh, z-score for this given right tail probability of 0.5910.